<laughs> Wait, why are you no, apologizing for me moving power. it around? Bye, five, 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 I've got no clue. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. I hey, call the intro. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's the ultimate Dino King here coming at you with another video. And uh, today we've got the water tier list. Um, the fire one was nearly an hour long, so we decided that this needed to be a separate video just to make sure that the whole tier thing didn't come out to about 10 hours in one video because that would be insanely long to try and upload. So we're doing it this way. And uh, what are we starting with, lad? We're starting with the Irritator. Yay. Oh, also, I didn't introduce everyone. We've got lad, Addy Rex, and Asta. Hello, everybody. Hiya. <laughs> So, Irritator. Uh, I'm getting it up. Uh, Irritator is not very good. Well, we knew that already, but... Well, maybe the people at home didn't. Why you gotta go assuming, yeah, King? Yeah. It gets heroic. And warning. But its stats are just... Beyond... Like, saving at this well, point. Three it can't use shockwave, which unlike, you know, unlike fire, it, it, water types need shockwave. Just have shockwave is such a good move, and not having it is not good. It does have four types though, and it can oh, use fuck. one of those. Defense doesn't really they help. Are. Defense <laughs> doesn't really help because it has a rock crit. Uh, hunter type is not very good. Mm. Warning type is just not really that effective. And heroic, heroic it is. <laughs> heroic is really the only type that makes irritator. You C -tier. know, C tier. Bottom of C tier. I love irritator. irritator don't get like me wrong. Your R -R. But it's usable. Not good. <laughs> but you could have better. You could have much. There are so many better options. All right. Decreosaurus. Oh no. <laughs> now, the only thing holding Decreosaurus back, in my opinion, is its paper crit. Because it gets the attack type, its stats are about average 700, 400. It gets charge and defense. Yeah. Decray is a weird dinosaur because it has some really good traits, and it has some really bad traits. It's not but, it's not met because the good traits do outweigh the bad traits. It's a it good dinosaur, but it's not meta. It's not. If it didn't have a scissors crit, this thing would be a lot it's better. It's got a paper crit. Like, or a uh, paper crit. <laughs> it has a paper crit. Paper crit's a bad one for waters. Yeah. Just just saying. Um, I mean, with a tag, it gets 800-500, which is really good. It also has charge, which can also make up for its bad damage, which makes it just like a slightly better Gorgo. Decreosaurus is good. I would put it, you know, lower B tier. It has super. It, it's a good dinosaur overall. Yeah, you know, low, low to little, mid, low to mid B tier. Little pink boy. All right, so back with Spiny. We lost Addy. Addy is having internet issues. She may come back shortly. So, Spiny. Super tie type and the disgusting lucky seven. Spiny stats are fine. It's got a scissors crit, which is good, and it has decent stats. Uh, 600, 475 is fine. Fairly balanced. Uh, super tie is actually. Oh. <laughs> super there, tie there is, she is actually quite good because unlike tie type super tie literally halves the damage you take in a tie which is a lot better overall mm. you can't use it on the dino tector variant which sucks but um being a dino tector dinosaur uh, super tie type i would have to give it like top of b yeah it, it's, it's it can't it can't get into a i don't think i love super spiny don't get me wrong i think it's I think, it, or not super spiny, but I think, you know, that it it's Dinotector is really cool and everything, but I don't think it's going to be that good. Okay, Saltosaurus. Right. My girl, Saltosaurus. A. Salty. 
S tier. S tier. S tier. That's my bias right there. If I'm not <laughs> being biased, it's mid A. I. Here's the thing with salt is that it can't use shockwave, which is it a huge downside. It doesn't need shockwave. It's that powerful. That's but again, it also has that 940 crit with hydro cutter. Yes. So, you know. Mid A. I will put it in A tier. I don't know about mid A. Mid A. That's, that's without my bias. Mid A. Without my bias, it's in lower A. Should we at least talk about, like, it's other types, so we know okay, it's got it attack. Okay, it has attack, type. which is the main one. It has heroic. Eh. Also another uh, big one. It has blitz, which can also work. Not sure what else it has. Uh, crisis. Hmm. You can't really use... Well, I guess it can. I prefer to have Final Fury on it, but all of its types are good, but there's just no reason to not use attack. But it, it's all it's all in the crit, the salter. Yep. And with the higher technique, you're more likely to get an aqua javelin off, and a hydro cutter and an aqua javelin is a one shot for most opponents. Yeah. 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 Um, I I agree. I agree. Salt is very good. Uh, on the Patagosaurus. Which Patagosaurus. is not as good. 630-410. What the hell is going on with this thing's stats? It gets... But it gets Blitz. Well, it, it gets Blitz, defense, defense and scissors, scissors. It's a rock crit, so it can't effectively use Shockwave. Uh, it doesn't have any redeeming factors for that either. Here's the thing. With Blitz, Aqua Javelin, and like Hydro Cutter or Water Sword, Patago can hurt. Unlike other dinosaurs, Patago, unlike some dinosaurs that would just be in straight D tier, Patago has the ability to just deal an extreme amount of damage. Like, unlike Raja, Raja has no way to deal just, like, a ton of damage. Mm. Patago does. Patagosaurus, with Blitz, and maybe if you activate Aqua Javelin, can deal a lot of damage. Its stats are really bad, but Blitz, like, just saves it. Yeah. C. Which is, yeah. I think it's a little bit better than Irritator in that regard, but, you know, that's... That's just my opinion. Next up, we have Jabaria. Jabaria is a pretty good dinosaur. It has one type, and that type is... Heroic. Uh, heroic. Which is good. 700, uh, it... 450. 450. Average stats. Rock crit. With heroic. 1,800 strength. Pretty good. Pretty good. Sorry, I'm just shifting around. Jobari is good. It's, um, it's not as good as Salta. It's not as good as Salta, but its damage is, you know, overall is pretty good. Mm. Um, you can run whatever you want on it, basically. I enjoy using it. It's the 46th president of the United States currently, so uh, for that, I would give Jill Biden an A tier. I agree. And uh, we are uh, uh, on to on one to of, another, another one, of your, another one of your favorites. Oh, we're getting some reverb. That's not good. Oh. I've just realized I was muted this whole time. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to cut out do. so much of this video. Bloopers. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> Oh, we just You're leave half good. of it in. I mean, leave half of it in. Oh God, we're we're professional I mean... guys. We swear. Where, where are we? Satio. We're at Satio. Satio. <clears throat> or as the arcade describes it, its title: "The White Whale on the Land." 
Yep. Seven fifty and four fifty. Scissors crit. Nice. It can use good. shockwave. It can use Futaba cannon. It's Yay! got willpower type, which I can't which remember what willpower type does. Willpower increases your damage by fifty every time you get a tie. Which is usually not that good, but if you get like three ties in a match, you kind of become a little bit scary. This is also considering RNG tournaments as well, in which ties are quite common. Yeah, you can basically, at certain points, just guarantee boost your damage by 50, but again, that depends on if you're getting... If you get ties early in the match, and you start winning, then yeah, you're gonna do a lot better, but, you know, that's if. I want to put it higher than Jobaria. You're that's, biased. That's not my bias. That is not my bias. I love Satio. It's probably my favorite water type now. Close to becoming my favorite dinosaur in Dinosaur King, actually, weirdly enough. <gasps> Oh my god. It's kind of funny because all of his dinosaurs. <laughs> Alpha Acro and Karanosaurus be damned. I know. Right. But Satio's got the scissors crit. It can use Shockwave. It can use Futaba Cannon. Will Power Type gives it that boost. And if you want to be a bit funky, you can use Paper Paper. Its stats are above average, just. All right, it, fine. It's, it's I'll an yield. All, the an whale. One. Hello. Oh, here comes one of my favorites. The whale. Yeah. Suko. Suko oh, is nice. a weird dinosaur. I have never seen a dinosaur with stats like Suko. I'm trying to get the stats up. 624, okay, 65. Yeah. I'm not sure what was going on with this dinosaur. It's got. This is Suko, Suko's niche, I think. Is it's crisis typing? It it runs crisis and it runs defense well. But again, if you're running either of those, you're giving up shockwave. Hmm. I personally like running crisis Suko. Uh, Suko, it only really lacks in crit power, really. But I mean, defense Suko is kind of funny, and crisis Suko, you know. At you know, when your health is in the red, yeah, there's a chance you could lose in one hit, but there's also the fact that if you're gonna hit like Tragic Sphere or Futaba Cannon, your opponent is basically dead, especially yeah. if you have Aqua Javelin. Or if you want to be a bit crazy, you go for Blitz. But it can't really, I mean, you don't get Quick Strike, you don't get the, you don't get to complement that with a move that has the same effect. Which is the one reason why I think I think Blitzuko, if it could use it, would be amazing, but it just can't, which sucks. So, I really like Suko though. Yeah. I would put it below Decreosaurus. Yeah, a, a high C, fine. low B is what I was thinking. Low B. Gone, wanna Titan. The midget is... sauropod. Are we allowed to say that? Apparently, that's a bad word nowadays. Uh. What midget? Yeah, right, let, so. let's just put it this way. It it stands probably about eight feet tall. It's pine oh. it, it's titan... tiny. Very tiny. It's a if little green. It's just Arlo from the, the good dinosaur. Basically. If I'm correct. Oh that's so cute. It's the smallest sauropod in the game, that's an obvious. Yeah. I thought Patagosaurus was small, and then I looked up how big it was, and I'm like, holy god, it's huge. <laughs> anyway, Gondwana swear. Titan. Uh, it's got the same, I think it's got the same stats as Jobaria, 700, 450, but it's got a paper crit, and it's tight. And it's lower on strength. There. It's got recovery and rock rock. Rock rock is the only way that it actually does damage. Kind of sucks being a recovery type with a paper crit. Uh, and it's got paper. It, it, I, I wouldn't put it as high as Suko. I'd put it at top of C, personally. As much as below much, Patago. As, as Patago much, can just yeah. deal explosive damage if, in the right situation. Gondwana as much as I like Gondwana Titan, it, I, I can't, I can't put it high. I can't. 
Or, you know, pull a Dino Smash and put all three food moves on it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he beat me with that once. Well, I mean, reco the recovery typing really boosts the healing on that. I've That has humiliated me ever since. <sighs> my favorite! Right. It's time for Isosaurus, the one part that, you know, gets views. Isosaurus is... has two very good types in strength and super defense. Its mm -hmm. stats are incredibly well balanced, so you don't need to worry too much about the rock crit because you can just put shockwave on it. It's 650 and 600. With for, that's for a total of 1850 in base stats. You can put like a Futaba cannon on it and it doesn't make much difference for if you were to put Hydro Cutter on, so you can use Shockwave. Yes. Or you can just swap it out for Defense Boost if you're going for the Super Defense type, or Defense Burst, <laughs> and just <laughs> take that defense to the maximum. If you're on tag with a an Earth type as well, then, yeah. that that's You are going... just the wall. Yeah. I think Isosaurus also has the um, highest health stat. Base stat total. Yeah, no, it is with super defense type. It has both the highest base stats and the highest health of any water dinosaur and the highest <laughs> health of any just dinosaur in general with super defense. Uh, it's very the hard to one shot. Gets super defense is tank. Yeah. Uh, All right. Tied with Isosaurus, what? Isosaurus, I would put in the lowest technique. Yeah, that's why defense boost doesn't really work on it, because the, the boost you get is so minimal. It doesn't really matter. But, I mean, Isosaurus is... It's Isosaurus. S it's good. Class, S class, S it's, an a, it's an A tier. It's, an a -tier. Oh, yeah. it's top of A. It's tickling S. Heat or it's not S. And now, Shunosaurus, a dinosaur that gets constantly forgot about. I hate its roar. But its that's just... roar is quite weird. Its stats are 75400, which is Average. fine. Its types, types are Hunter, Blunder, and Tie. Nothing good. It's a rock crit. So you're losing out on Shockwave. Uh, I, it, it's a dinosaur that looks good on the surface. It, there are some dinosaurs that, like, on the surface look bad, but the more you look at Like, Gorgo. Gorgo looks bad from the surface, but the more you look into it, the better it is. Shuno is the opposite. It looks good from the surface. Not that good the more you look into it. I like yeah. Shuno. I have good memories of using it in the DS game. You know, you can run Water Sword on it and be fine. Uh, it's Me. very okay. I would put it there, maybe. Yeah, that's where I was thinking. Uh, now a water type I would consider for S tier. Ampelosaurus, <laughs> a very popular water type. Right, it's got uh, a scissors crit. It is uh, seven hundred. Plus 500. 500 on each of the others. You get counter type on it. Its other types are Hunter and Tie Recovery. So, counter's the one you want to go for. It's a dinosaur that doesn't even really need its other typings, but it just, it just works. It's very good. You know, Ampelo just doesn't really have any sort of major faults. It's kind I don't know if it's S tier. It's like very scratching it because I feel like I don't really know. It's like part of me saying put it in S tier, the other part of me saying don't put it in S tier because I feel like compared to a lot of other S tiers, it's not really there. It it's no Amargosaurus. Let's just put it that way. It's it's no yeah. Amargosaurus. Amargosaurus does everything that Ampelo does better. But just thousands of times better. Yeah. Top of A. Yeah. I'll yeah. let you decide whether it's above or below Isosaurus. Above. 
Mm, I'll put a pillow. <laughs> he changes. <laughs> <laughs> Nemegtosaurus, uh, another forgettable water type. Neglectosaurus. Is to right court. there. It's so, it's so mid. Lucky it, seven I'd, type. Yeah, I, I was gonna say lucky seven is its only type, and I'd consider it lower simply because of its lucky seven type. I mean, it gets shockwave. It, it, it doesn't hit. I mean, it just. Nemeg is just fine. I don't know whether I put it below. Mm. I'm gonna keep it where it is right now. Okay. I might change it later. Now we're on to a really weird dinosaur. Titanosaurus. Titanosaurus. Paper crit. Only... It's a paper crit. Its only types are tie defense and super. Tie defense is marginally more useful. Mm. Super is fine. Um, it has the same exact stats as Spino with 750, 475. Um, which is good. Uh... I like Titanosaurus. The paper crit kind of holds it back, but at yeah. the same time, super helps. Tie defense can help. It can use shockwave. You could also just cut out the middleman and not run water moves. I've run neck crusher on it. I've had a lot of fun with that. It will still hurt if it hits you with uh, aqua whip. So again, run, run softening beam on it. Yeah, you can run softening beam. Titano's fine. I would it, put it a B. maybe above Suko just because it's slightly more consistent in damage. Alright. Spino. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Spinosaurus. As we said before, 750, 475. It's got a rock crit, so you're going to lose out on Shockwave in many movesets. It gets, it gets tie type, which isn't that good. It gets Blitz, which it can use. It gets it's Heroic. It's very scary. And then they gave it Heroic. Which, Heroic Spino, and also gets a Super, but to me, Spino getting Heroic is what puts it in S tier. Agreed. Yeah. Glad we are in agreement about that. Kama. Kama has one niche, and that is soft and wet. Softening beam. Or, well, no, it's super type Kama with softening beam, ocean panic, and tie attack. It also works with the charge type as well. Yeah, with or without super. Whatever, whatever flavor you like. Super is a bit more daring. It also has crisis. Back to it. Uh, Kama's not that good, but it has a couple things it can use. Mm. It can use Shockwave. It has that set. Yeah, like in the, with the Super version, I've managed to get a tie to do like over half a dinosaur's health from a single tie with that set. So it's got its niche, but that takes setup to be able to do that amount of damage. It I think that's takes the so much setup. I, I think that's the highest I've ever been able to get damage from a tie, but the setup to get it is, is next to impossible to do in competitive play. I mean, if you get softening beam off and then tie attack, you could and also if you have ocean panic and the charge one you could you could theoretically do that set up pretty easy because all you need is to hit with softening beam once. And even if you don't hit with softening beam, just hitting with the charge tie attack and shockwave or and uh, ocean panic, which can give the shockwave effect, that's pretty good on its own. And the only other water type that can do that is Decreosaurus. 
But the thing is, Decrea has to give up attack type for that. Yeah. So, Kama has something. A little something, but it's something. That, that's about it. It's got one, maybe two niches. It's yep. not enough to, to bring it up. It, it starts for anyone who's concerned, 720 and 390. Eh, not very good. Nope. It's uh, uh, basically, its crit is 200 less than T-Rex. And its other stats are the same. Yep. Baryonyx! Barry! Barry uh, is another victim of a paper crit. But it's not really that bad of a victim because its stats are so balanced. Yep. 570, 515. And it gets counter type. It gets defense type, and it gets hunter. It also oh, super form. gets its best type. And as Asta said, super. Because of how balanced it is, it's actually viable. It's actually really super. good. Because every single one of your attacks is going to be doing at minimum, at minimum 1,000 damage. That's not even taking into account any attack that you put on there. Yeah, 1,030 or... Uh, uh, 1140 minimum. Yep. Super Barry is pretty, pretty scary. Um, it can use Shockwave. And uh, for that reason, I'm going to put it right there. Yeah, I agree. Big Bad Bronte Kansas is next. <laughs> <sighs> This thing is so common in tournaments, it hurts. But there's a reason for it, in that it's good. Yeah. I can't say anything, I'm using it in one tournament. So on paper, Bron Brontekins doesn't actually look that good. 700, 500 with a paper crit and recovery type. Then you notice it's a 2000 strength with 800 technique. And then it's an armor. And then it starts to get good. It, it, it's one of those ones. On paper, it looks terrible. In practice, it is touching the meta. Yep. Here's the weird part. It doesn't actually specify what type Bronikins has. Armor is not a battle type. But for some reason... Recovery, isn't it? Recovery type. Is it recovery? recovery? Oh, I was about type. to say, I thought it was lethal. Okay. <laughs> no, but a Patasaurus has lethal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Bronikins is very good. I might have been ranking it a little bit high. The, the bad crit does take it down, but again, Spectral Destroy and just overall very good, you know, stats in general. Uh, say, hey. Yeah, probably top of A. I'm I'm sorry, Isosaurus. Uh yeah, Bronikins is very good and very annoying to deal with. Then we have Augustinia. Now Augustinia is funny because it's Jobaria but its stats are slightly better. It's got an eight hundred. 800 rock crit and 450 on the others, so its its crit is 100 higher. Then you lose out in battle types because it only gets impact or well, blunder. Yeah. Uh, Augustinia is good. It does struggle in the regard that it doesn't get heroic. But because this thing's either top of B or bottom of A. I would give it bottom of A. I really like Augustinia. I think that I think that it, its stats are still enough to carry it by itself. Yeah, I don't think it's better than Jobaria simply because of that battle type. I agree. Oop. Okay. Alpha Our first D tier. Outfit Irritator is terrible. 
I mean, take what's bad about Irritator and give it poison. Make it type. worse. <laughs> Lower its crit, which was already low, by the way, and then leave it with nothing but defense and poison. Why? Why? Why why would they do this? There's a much better alpha dinosaur coming up. Not much yep. better. It's actually the last three dinosaurs are so much better. <laughs> three very good palate cleansers. I I hate to do this to Alpha Irritator because I love Alpha Irritator, but it's terrible. There is nothing redeeming about no, this thing. It it has to go. Oh, Pistacelacardia. The dinosaur with probably the weirdest name. And some of the worst stats I've ever seen in my life. It gets a scissors crit, but its stats are 560, 420. And then, it gets, this thing. then it gets yeah. attack. So go to 660, 520. Which it is... goes from here to like here. Yeah. <laughs> if not here it's got that 1100 technique which means you Whoa. can put attack boost on this thing and shockwave and that makes it even better with the futaba cannon you could also put hydro cutter on it for funsies good. i seal acadia is really good it and Tolerus are just this weird dynamic duo of just having terrible stats but they get attack type and they have the right crit so they're fine also uh I'm not going to say the name of this strategy, but Opestacelacadia, when put in the back during a tag team match, is hilarious because it just non-stop gets off Shockwave. Yeah, that's 1100 technique for you. And then once it gets out on the field, it's... Because the difference is, if you, put, if you put, like, Kama or Irritator or whatever, when you come out on the field, you're kind of screwed because they're bad. Opistacelacadia isn't bad, though. So when it does come out on the field... Yeah. The only, the only drawback of, you know, this guy is... He, he's a thousand strength. So he takes hits pretty hard. Mm. And now... Alpha Irritator. Alpha Irritator, on paper, it looks incredible. 850, scissors crit, 400. And that's because it is. Oh, guys, it's so cool. Its types oh. leave something to be desired. Well, it's not like poison is terrible, blunders, whatever. It With lives it... off stats and element alone. Because it has shockwave, it has... You know, the scissors crit, it, you know, it's 850. Like, it doesn't, it's a dinosaur that doesn't really rely on its types because its element and the moves that it has access to help out a lot. And. But, but with it relying more on its element, it also plays more into its biggest weakness, and that being Archaeopteryx charm. Well, I would it. Dock that, it because it, it's, it's, it counters Shockwave, it counters Blunder type, it counters Poison type. Yeah, That's three if anything different runs... aspects of Alpha Suko that are just immediately taken out by Arc Charm. Yeah, here's my thing. I wouldn't take Archaeopteryx Charm into consideration. I'd mention it, though. I'd say, hey, Alpha Suko gets eaten alive by Archaeopteryx Charm. But again, it's not like everybody's going to be using that. No. Um... I would still give Alpha Suko a solid A tier. It's just very good. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of options. Banana Surprise and Shockwave is a hilarious combination. You can put Aqua Javelin, Alpha Dice, Tie Bomb, Futaba Cannon, Shockwave, whatever you want. I Alpha Suko is just very good. Yeah. Then that and brings now... us to. Amagasaurus. Our Lord and Savior. Single-handedly the best water type of its starting generation. And probably still single-handedly the best water type. <laughs> 890 for a scissors crit. For a base for scissors crit. Base scissors crit. Then you stick 
attack type on it, and it goes to 990, 480. Then you Ooh. put Futaba Cannon on this thing, and you're getting a near 1500 Scissors Crit. And that doesn't even take into the fact that you could activate Aqua Javelin or any other move that does extra damage. Or Attack Boost. The attack Boost, it's got 400 techniques, so it's not crazy on a but it's still something but it's still a bonus like you, you can push that crit up even more the, in strangers videos armaga has one shotted in the past it is that powerful armaga is good it will always be good and not only that one of the champions of the tournament before the last one Did he actually dies? won. Was he using? He was using a crisis Amargosaurus, right? I'm not. I can't remember what Amarg. Oh, oh, I just remember well, he beat yeah. me in the final. But... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he did. He was because he was running Final Fury on it. Yeah, Amargosaurus has charge type as well, and crisis. And no, really one, no one really cares for paper paper on this thing because all the other types are so good. Yeah. Amargosaurus has literally no drawbacks and just excels so well. I, I could... I, 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 yeah. So that is all of the water types. Yep. That's we all of them. It. It's fun. Should do it again. Well, we will be with yep. the other remaining elements. Salt. Not tonight, please. No, not tonight. It's like 20 past. I want food. <laughs> I, I'm going to get food soon. I, I also just have a life, and I want to play Fortnite later, so... Boom. Yeah. Well, some of us don't have lives, okay? <laughs> well, I don't really have a life. I just have food coming and... Fortnite, and that's that's same. That's... I've just ordered food. I got really upset because Taco Bell's closed. Baco Tell. I like Nando's. Nando's is closed too. That sucks. When I come up to the UK, I need to go to a Greg's. Oh, yeah. You do need to go to a Greg's. I need. I need to try Greg's. We have a Greg's next to a McDonald's and a Wendy's. Oh my god, that sounds awesome! <laughs> so you get reminded of home, but also get to try new things as well. Exactly. I, I will buy every- I will- my treat, I'm gonna buy everyone Greg's. Bro! <laughs> I mean, it's not that expensive, so... Greg, I need to recommend to you the chicken bake. Yes! Thank you! Somebody else that likes that. Should I point out I'm still recording? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> you, put it no, it, you could always just put at the end of the recording, just I like, and, and, and we talked about Greg's. 